while we continue to do our evaluation of this technology, one of the challenges for a portable piece of equipment like this is that um, um, this is about 40 pounds and uh, you need to have an outlet. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring over uh, a couple of motors to here because we can't, it's difficult to bring this there, especially when the plugs are not uh, all over the place, unless we have a long extension cord. Um, and we're going to continue to do some comparisons of the two pieces of equipment in a series of videos. Um, Baker offers some very nice features uh, that we will uh, take advantage of. And, um, we'll discuss some of those. And I'm going to try to make it so that you can see the screen and you can watch a full test in action. I'm going to shortcut some of the data entry stuff because, to be perfectly honest, trying to get this stuff on YouTube and it takes 15 to 20 minutes to do a single test or longer um, is not feasible. So I'm going to, to do some of the shorter versions of the testing um, on the equipment and compare it to the all test four. The first motor we're going to test is a simple Lafert motor that we have uh, also previously tested. First set of tests will be the um, All Test 4. The All Test 4 does a series of tests, takes about um, 30 seconds to perform. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the auto mode, which in which we compare the test leads for a two wire Kelvin bridge. This motor is set up for 460 volts. It is a used motor, it's been used in the field. Uh, we'll press our first, uh, first winding. It runs through its tests. Okay, we press OK, and now we're going to go on to the uh, second phase. This, uh, in both uh, cases, both the uh, Baker and the all test unit are supposed to be able to operate from a motor control uh, or disconnect. Okay, and then the last uh, phase. And press it, and we let it run. Okay, yes, we're going to do the insulation to ground test. Move our terminals. Connect to a ground. Press OK and then press and hold the insulin key. 500 volts. Now reading is greater than 100 mega ohms. Press OK. Now, before you do anything you want to save, we'll just call this A, B, C. Phase. Save the name. Um, got high, low, high, 69 straight across, uh, balanced, and everything's balanced. So we know the winding is good. Now let's compare that to the uh, Baker.